In local basketball, San Mig Coffee reigned supreme once again. After a slow start in the Philippine Cup, they recovered just in time to overcome rain or shine in six games. Jane Brasher reports. <laughs> History. That is what San Mig Coffee achieved once the final buzzer of Game 6 sounded. It was a hard-fought and controversial game, with Rain or Shine walking out and returning in the second quarter. But in the end, San Mig clobbered Rain or Shine 88-70 to close out the final series and become champions of the 2014 Philippine Cup. The trophy is all the more sweeter, being the 16th title of Mixers coach Tim Cohn, making him the winningest coach in PBA history. Surpassing his idol, Baby Dalupan, Crispa's legendary coach. People are going to say, well, you surpassed Baby Dalupan. Nobody surpasses Baby Dalupan. Nobody equals him. Nobody surpasses him. The best part about all this is that uh, I get to have my name mentioned with Baby. And uh, so when people mention Tim Cohn, they talk about Baby. When they talk about Baby, they talk about me. The title marks the first back-to-back -back crown for the Mixers, who also won last season's Governor's Cup. The Mixers overcame five losses at the conference start, coming into the finals exhausted from a grueling seven-game semifinal series against Ginebra. Masaya. Um, kung baga pinaghirapan namin, um, siguro makakatulog na rin ako ng, ng mahimbing ngayon. Pero ito talagang napatunayan din namin kahit paano na talagang puso lang yung puhuna namin. The coffee prince, Mark Baroka, was named finals MVP. San Mig Coffee has proven for the past three years that winning is in its DNA, but this title is extra special. After all, the only thing sweeter than winning a championship is making history along the way. Jane Brasher Rappler, Manila.